Welcome to Smyrna Agora. Located in the heart of the historical city center of Izmir, Smyrna Agora is one of the world's largest of its kind. Excavation work on the site first began in 1933. In 2007, Associate Professor Akin Ersoy of Izmir Katip Celebi University and his team of archaeologists revisited the Agora and have remained there ever since, with permission of the Republic of Turkey, Ministry of Culture and Tourism. So far, they have uncovered a west portico, a basilica, a bulletirian, a mosaic hall, a Roman bath, and a building from the Ottoman era that surrounds its courtyard. It was founded at the end of the 4th century B.C., immediately following the reign of Alexander the Great. It served as Smyrna's administrative, political, and judicial center, as well as the main hub of commerce and trade. Surrounded by porticos, it used to contain monuments meant for important occasions and agreements, altars for pagan religious ceremonies, statues honoring prominent local figures, exedras with marble seat, and both a temple and altar for the city's patron deity. A major earthquake destroyed the Agora in 178 AD. Shortly thereafter, the Roman emperor Marcus Aurelius set about rebuilding it. Nearly all surviving remains belong to that second period. Its overall character only remained intact until the 7th century. Over time, it began to lose its luster as Smyrna shrank. Its courtyard, moreover, ended up being used as a cemetery during the Middle and Late Byzantine, alongside the Ottoman empires. The Ottomans, moreover, converted any surrounding buildings into dwellings, a tradition that would last until the end of the 20th century. Smyrna, Izmir, has remained a major Mediterranean port city since antiquity. In Ottoman times, the Agora and its environs played host to a bustling commercial life, as well as dozens of different ethnic and faith communities scattered across several neighborhoods. Agora North Street The Agora North Street runs parallel to the northern edge of the Basilica. There are two entrance gates that provide access to the Basilica from the street and have monumental features. These gates connected the Agora with North Street and the city through the Basilica. Due to its location, the street was an important avenue through which people arriving from the harbor and from outside the city by land reached the Agora. Ottoman era cistern with fountain. During the Hellenistic, Roman, and early Byzantine empires, Smyrna Agora was utilized in line with what it was originally built for. Come the Ottoman Empire, it hosted a cemetery and was surrounded by various imperial buildings. The Ottomans also built cisterns on street corners of every nearby neighborhood, be it residential or commercial. One of these was a single-volume cistern that was unearthed close to the ruins of the then Smyrna City Council. Most cisterns also contained built-in fountains on the same level. Evidence shows that terracotta pipes were installed at various points in time in an attempt to keep the cisterns full. Excavation House This excavation house is a prime example of 19th century Turkish civil architecture. The house upon which it sits was expropriated and restored by the Izmir Metropolitan Municipality, preserving its original character and was handed over to the excavation directorate. Currently, it is used for conservation projects, inventory, storage, research, and accommodation purposes. Ottoman Building South of the Agora Roman Bath sits an Ottoman building, the function of which remains unknown, on a 1,000 square meter patch of space. Recent excavation work since 2017 has revealed traces of a street to the east and two doors providing access to the building from that street. At the corner, right where the building's southern and eastern walls converge, lies a cistern with a fountain. The building is believed to date back to the 19th century. Alas, little is understood at this point about how its interior was laid out. However, the building's northern wing was used until the late 20th century. 
Moreover, there are also remains of a series of rooms that were separated by a corridor that are in relatively good condition. They date back to the founding of modern Turkey. Ottoman Building South of the Agora Roman Bath sits an Ottoman building, the function of which remains unknown, on a 1,000 square meter patch of space. Recent excavation work since 2017 has revealed traces of a street to the east and two doors providing access to the building from that street. At the corner, right where the building's southern and eastern walls converge, lies a cistern with a fountain. The building is believed to date back to the 19th century. Alas, little is understood at this point about how its interior was laid out. However, the building's northern wing was used until the late 20th century. Moreover, there are also remains of a series of rooms that were separated by a corridor that are in relatively good condition. They date back to the founding of modern Turkey. Smyrna Agora Experience Center Dating back to the second half of the 19th century, the building consists of a courtyard and buildings on both sides. The south wing of the registered building has been functionalized as Smyrna Agora Experience Center as part of the Heritage Alive project implemented by the Conservation and Development of City Values Association of Izmir within the scope of the Grant Scheme for Common Cultural Heritage Preservation and dialogue between Turkey and the EU2 CCH2, realized by the Ministry of Culture and Tourism and financially supported by the European Union. As the name suggests, here visitors are able to experience and interact with Smyrna Agora for themselves via virtual reality, VR, coupled with digital panel, scale model, and documentary. Faustina Avenue Faustina Avenue stretches from Faustina Gate to the port. The northern side of it leads to the Mosaic Building. At one point, there used to be a fountain, pool, and sidewalk, plus a staircase providing direct access to the Mosaic Building. At the center of that also used to be a pedestal dedicated to Governor Isidoros, circa 5th century A.D. Much of the site was demolished during the Ottoman Empire, Bulutirian Avenue also shared a similar fate. Bulutirian Avenue Bulutirian Avenue used to run along the western side of the Mosaic Building and connected Faustina with North Avenue as well. One could also use it to access the Mosaic Building from the east via a staircase, see above. Some scholars think that there also may have been a gymnasium to the west, and that it was most likely connected to the Roman bath. City Council and Mosaic Building The Smyrna City Council was where all the administrative decisions about the city's future were made. It sits along the northern parcel of a building block between the West Portico and Burutirian Avenue. Evidence shows us that it was rebuilt three times in the exact same spot, the first during the Hellenistic period, and the other two during the Roman Empire. Its final form is that of a small theater and features 11 spaces plus a semi-vaulted gallery below the benches. Nearly all decisions made by assembly were chiseled on stones that would later be erected in the Agora for the public to read. Decisions requiring wet signatures were recorded down on papyrus and parchment scrolls and kept on the shelves of a scriptorium beneath the assembly. The Mosaic Building is located south of the city council. Scholars believe that it was most likely used for social and cultural events, as well as political meetings. Now almost completely unearthed, it derived its name from its massive and very well-preserved mosaic floor adorned with floral and geometric elements. Faustina Gate Faustina Gate is located where Faustina Avenue, which starts from the port, meets Smyrna Agora. It is a double-arched monumental gate, the northern arch of which is still standing. 
The arch's keystone contains a portrait of Empress Faustina, hence the gate's name. It also symbolizes a catastrophe that marked a turning point in Smyrna's history. The city was brought to ruins by an earthquake that struck in 178 AD. When the city was rebuilt with the support from the emperor Marcus Aurelius, a gate and the portrait was commissioned in honor of the emperor and his wife Faustina. Today, the other half of the arch remains buried underneath a modern road right next to it, which is believed to have the emperor's portrait on it. Hedgehog Tree Since antiquity, people have believed that the leaves of the hedgehog tree represent the cycle of life and death whenever they change color from green to blood red. That, in turn, has caused many to view it as sacred, Records indicate that the Greeks used them during cult ceremonies for Zeus and Apollo. During the Ottoman Empire, Smyrna's Christian community believed that a large hedgehog tree on Kadifa Kali, Smyrna Acropolis, had grown out of the staff of St. Polycarpus, Smyrna's first Christian martyr. Christian pilgrims even collected its leaves as souvenirs. In the 17th century, the Turkish globetrotter Evliya Celebi noted that he had never seen a tree quite like it in all his travels, and went so far as to say that it held the cure for 72 diseases. Tombstones Some of the tombstones at Smyrna Agora date back to when part of it was a cemetery, while others were transplanted there from other parts of the city. Nevertheless, the vast majority hail from the 18th and 19th centuries. Agora became a Christian cemetery in the 10th century, and then a Turkish Muslim one in the 16th century. This nearly millennium-long period came to an end shortly after the modern Turkey was founded. The 19th century portion to the northeast, today a parking lot, was dubbed Mezarlik Basi, literally main cemetery. Namazga. Smyrna Agora served as a Muslim cemetery between the 16th and early 20th centuries. Moreover, by the 17th century, its eastern wing came to doubly serve as a namazga, or outdoor place of worship, to meet modern Izmir's growing need for religious amenities, as it was rapidly undergoing a process of Turkification at the time. West Portico. The porticos surrounding the Agora's courtyard are semi-open structures and monuments at the same time that shelter people during stormy weathers and shade them when it is hot. The West Portico has three galleries and three floors, including the basement, and extends along the western edge of the courtyard. Part of the basement was built over the foundations of a stoa during the Hellenistic period. The Byzantines later converted it into a multi-chambered cistern. It contained spring water collected from the foots of Kadifa Kali Hill to meet locals' needs. Terracotta pipes carried clean water from the cistern to the lower quarters of the city. You can still see part of it today in the aforementioned basement. Some estimate that when full, the cistern can serve around 7,000 people a day, give or take. Agora Water Canal and Fountain All of the waterways, carrying water from various sources outside Smyrna, Izmir, were built at different points in different periods to meet locals' water needs. Furthermore, new research has also discovered that numerous channels beneath the city also collected water from springs in Kadifa Kali and distributed it to public buildings, fountains, and cisterns in lower neighborhoods. One such channel has been in service for some 2,000 years and still actively feeds Agora's fountain today. It, moreover, was high and wide enough for a person to easily walk through and had originally been built to deliver water directly to the Roman bath. Later on, it was redirected to feed the cistern in the West Portico's basement. Basilica in antiquity, basilicas were used as judicial and commercial centers. 
The Roman poet Martialis once recorded that lawyers would bring an entourage of common folk alongside them to the basilicas to cheer or heckle during trials. The ancient Greeks originally built Agora's Basilica as a single-story, two-gallery stoa, complete with a basement. The Romans later added two additional stories. The great earthquake of 178 A.D. brought it to the ground. It was later rebuilt. What makes the basilica stand out is all of the graffiti that has survived on its walls. It gives us a glimpse into how the Romans lived. Basilica Wall Inscriptions Smyrna's Agora literally witnessed the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. The basilica within contains the world's richest collection of ancient Greek graffiti to boot. After all, what didn't people paint on walls 1,800 years ago? In terms of content, stuff about gladiators, trade, warships, rivalry between Ephesus and Smyrna, word games, riddles, writings on eye anatomy and eye health, and some of the world's earliest Christian text, just to list a few. All of it offers scholars invaluable clues about what life was like back then for your average Smyrnite. Inscriptions found in two galleries in the southern end of the basement were written using a black, albeit sometimes red, ink made from oak charcoal or scratched into plaster using a sharp tool, both on the walls and arch piers. Technically speaking, the former is called dipinti, the latter graffiti. Estimates date the inscriptions to the 2nd and 4th centuries A.D. Basilica Grand Bazaar The basilica also featured a grand bazaar that emerged in late antiquity. The Romans are believed to have built 72 small spaces, shops, beneath the faulted upper cover of the third gallery, basement floor, thereby transforming it into a giant market. There, retailers and wholesalers sold bone, glass, and ceramics, among other things. Other spaces were most likely used as bone workshops.